I think that people that make rules about how to do ads make rules because they don't know how to make ads. We're constantly trying to navigate new areas, new ideas, new stories. To presuppose we would know what should be there is kind of crazy. Figure out what your truth is. Figure out what is a strong, compelling truth to start your work at and then follow it wherever it goes. I could go back to the first time we ever said the word M&M and Chrysler and it was a completely different ad. And it was about Lose Yourself and it was about 8 Mile. We thought it would be interesting to do a kind of fly on wall piece and just see the executives, the engineers, all the people in, in Chrysler mouthing words to this spot. We went nowhere with it, but what it showed us was that there is a Venn diagram of Chrysler the company, Detroit the city, and Eminem the person that share a similar last decade. And to put all those three powerful things who are all on their way up, so it's like the perfect storm of optimism with the people that are going to do the hard work to back it up. So if there was in, ever any pull between us and the client, it was us saying, we need to tell your story. And them thinking, would people be interested? And that was almost the only thing we had questions about, where we said, yeah, the whole of America has been down, 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 down. And to personify that, Detroit has been lower than the rest. So if we can do something that's honest, like has to, has to, has to be honest, you'll get applauded. Because if you can do it, the rest of the country can do it. I do think that still, in the future this may not be true, but right now, when you want people to reconsider a large thing, a large company, sometimes the kind of heartfelt, and you can't fake this, if you just want to try and write a fake manifesto, it will rightly fall in the shitter. But if it's done for the right reasons about the right things, I think that people are waiting for that. I think the Super Bowl worked perfectly because no one's ever done a two-minute Super Bowl. We understood we would stick out because seven other companies, seven other car, car companies were, were going to be doing ads. They were all going to be 30 seconds long and they were nearly all going to be jokes. If nothing else would be taken seriously. Over 2,000 news organisations wrote about the ad. Um, by far the top consideration of cars the next day, 87% was Chrysler 200. But that's one denotation of success. I think there's the cultural success. I think we probably get a tick for it. Then there's the financial success for the company, which I'm hoping over the next few months we get a tick for. I think real success would, would be when America starts to consider Detroit a comeback city. The future of advertising is probably not advertising. But the skills that we're learning, they are far more applicable to any sort of narrative, any sort of anything that needs an elegant thought process, anything that needs a problem solving. So I do think we're problem solving. We just happen to end up with ads a lot of the time. But I think you could take the 30 second, the 60 second, the web banner, the radio thing, you could take that away. And I don't feel like my hands would be tied. There's a view that advertising just makes up its own truths. But people that are honest to what's going on tell the truth in a, in, a, in a disarming way. I mean, good comedy is telling people things they already know in a way shorter than they ever thought possible. I think advertising can be the same thing.